Two weeks ago, I visited a home here on Montrose Street in Fort Valley. Fort Valley police say it was severely blighted, and when I got here, the home looked like this. Now, just after two days of cleaning it up, it looks like this. It wasn't that long ago, Fort Valley police announced on Facebook this blighted home would soon be going through cleanup, then leaving neighbors like Alvarez Mitchell with concerns. And I feel like it just had to get to this point for them to do something. Now they're making posts about, you know, snakes and rodents and all that, and I just so happened to move here. Fast forward, the project has made significant progress in just two days. Public Works crews completely clearing the front yard as work begins to tackle the back. Once we start bringing down the blighted property, we can bring new, new revenue into the city, and that's something that we're trying to do. Along with the police department and mayor and council, Gary Lee, the city's director of economic development, is pitching in. He says with less blight comes more housing opportunities, like the one the city will make out of another blighted property downtown. We're getting ready to unveil a master plan that will consist of the downtown area and a lot of the areas that uh, touch the downtown area as far as, far as our our, our, our college, our student housing, and affordable housing. As work moves forward on this and other properties, Lee says they're happy to roll up their sleeves. We're vested in this area, and so to be able to be down here to give back to this community is just a great thing for me, and it's a great thing for uh, uh, for the city of Fort Valley. In Fort Valley, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News.